apartment complex must now take steps to improve security and safety. Good evening, I'm Brenda Ledun. The city filed a public nuisance lawsuit against Monarch Ridge Apartments owned by Steel Valley Brook nearly a month ago after a deadly shooting. It's not the first time the city has turned to legal action to address crime at that complex. Similar action was taken in 2021 and a settlement was reached. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is working for you to learn more about the measures that were ordered this time around and how those measures will be enforced. I don't feel safe. I feel like I'm taking a chance every day with living here. One woman tells us back in July, a man was looking in her window and attempted to break in. Since July, I've been trying to get the police to do extra patrol. According to court documents, in the last two years, Birmingham police have responded to more than 300 calls at Monarch Ridge Apartments. That includes the shooting that killed 21-year-old Asia Poole in August. I'm in the process of trying to find me somewhere to stay. I don't feel safe at all. I, I've been losing sleep over it. Ever since the young man looked at my window, ever since um, and after the incident that happened with the young lady that lost her life. Last week, it was ordered by the court the property owner will maintain the flock cameras, which are license plate readers, that have been in place since 2020. Also, the property's surveillance system must be connected to the city's real-time crime center. I think those are steps towards, um, you know, so it's fixing the issues. Additionally, court documents outline security patrols with off duty Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies, a guard at the gated entrance and restricted entry to residents and visitors. Another problem I would say is bringing, you know, having people who don't live out here come in to the community and start a whole bunch of chaos. That's another concern of mine. But how will these measures be enforced? The city says it's the property's responsibility to get the cameras connected to the real time crime center. As far as the timeline on taking all those steps here and the patrols, the city isn't commenting, stating the information is in the non public court document. In Birmingham, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says right now there is no contract with in place with the property. A status hearing on the apartments is scheduled in court in October.